Playacoma Hopping and I got these out of Twain Heart off of Highway 108. About 7-8 miles east of Twain Heart. Put out my black light vein traps. And I got an outrageous amount of Playacoma Hopping and I. I had to fight off a couple coyotes that were eating them out of my two of my vein traps. Absolutely amazing little guys. We call them fuzzy butts for some reason. How do you think that is? They're called playacoma, which means playa, which means plenty of. And a coma, which means her suit or hair. So, plenty of hair. I'd have to say that is correct. The hair on a play of coma serves as poor insulation, but it makes them very hard to hold. They're very slippery, and it helps prevent them from being abraded and tore up when they dig through the ground to get to the surface. So it actually makes them slide through the, the ground and the dirt very easy compared to if they weren't. And it also protects their limbs and their elytra and their eyes and antenna while they're digging in the darkness to get up to the surface to fly right before sunup. They fly before sunup right between 5 and 6.45, sometimes only for 5 minutes, sometimes for 15 minutes, sometimes half an hour. And they'll only fly when it's raining and it's dark and cold, late in the fall, early winter, for protection. And the females are twice their size and they wait in holes, burrows, and they wait for the males to come. The ratio of males to females, and you ladies will like this, is anywhere from 50 to 200 to 1. You got your pick of the litter girls. Of course the males only have a few hours of flight and they're fat. They have a special concentrated fat, black fat, that allows them to fly for four or five hours in freezing temperature. Sometimes only two or three if they're small. The females can live two years though. They can lay two clutches of eggs. So they have two seasons of suitors. These are Playacoma hopping eye. One of nature's most amazing creatures.